Hey guys, get ready with me to go Boxing Day shopping. I'm literally over the roof right now because I'm literally so excited to go shopping. Realistically, I have not been shopping in ages when you think about it, but I am still appreciative of what I got yesterday because that is basically shopping. I just don't know what I got. Ah, uh, like, and I just love when I get clothes on like Christmas day and I wear them the next day. It's like a fresh, clean girl thing. Hey Alexa, I love you. Thanks for saying I love you. And I literally realised it's going to be a leap year next year. Like, there's going to be 366 days. I actually don't understand how people get ready in pure silence. Like, are you okay? Are you actually okay next? Okay, my mom's actually kind of rushing me, so I kind of have to speed it up a bit. I'm trying so hard not to get makeup on my top because I'm so clumsy and it's white and I know I'm going to get messed up. I feel like bacon's literally the best bit about doing your makeup. I'm going to try to do a haul depending on, like, how many stuff I get. I'm gonna show y'all because I love showing y'all what I get. Charlotte Tilbury highlight is literally the best thing on this planet. Uh, if you guys have any lip recommendations, whether that's lip gloss, lip liner, put them in the comments because I need to get new lip stuff. Now for a lip gloss because your lips cannot be dry, crusty, musty, dusty, rusty. Look how stunning that is. Huh? I added a few fake beauty spots because that just completes the makeup look. And that is it. Bye, y'all. Why did Pretty Little Liar season one end like that? I don't know if I'm gonna get over that, honestly. This headband makes me look like the Statue of Liberty. Anyways, get I'm ready with me. I haven't made a get I'm ready with me in like 7,000 years, so that's why I'm making one today. I also didn't make a get ready with me because I didn't even put on makeup or like do my hair. I literally just stayed in bed like all day, if I'm gonna be honest. I cannot believe Christmas is over. Like, I'm honestly so sad. Also, I don't have nails. So, just ignore that. Because my mom was like, you need to like let your nails just sit because i've been putting glue nails since i think july and i literally have not had a break with them since today or yeah i guess last night last night was the first night i didn't put nails on right after i took them off it's honestly really bad for your nails but i like them so and i cut them down because they were like growing I have a really good, oh my gosh, I have a really good nail glue from Amazon. It's this one. It's so good. I got a new Kinder Scott necklace. I had this necklace before, but I broke the clasp, which is so <clears throat> annoying. But I got my new one, and I'm super happy. I'm obsessed with 40 from Sol de Janeiro, so my grandma on my dad's side, so my dad's mom, got me this. And then we went to my mom's um, mom's house, so my grandma on my mom's side. And she also got me one, so I have these two, and then I also have the mini one. I think the mini one's probably going to go in my school bag because I needed one in my school bag. And then I'm just going to keep the two big ones here. Also, I'm going to my ring era. I don't know how to feel about it. Because I used to wear rings a lot when I was younger, and I went years of wearing them, and I love them. It just feels weird sometimes, like, between my fingers. I don't know. I'm going to use the um, leave-in conditioner. It says spray on damp hair though, and my hair's like soaking wet. So I guess I'm actually not gonna use this yet. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes because there's nothing else to really do. I'm about to start season or episode one of season two. Because why did season one end like that? Like what? I'm just glad I'm not like actively watching the show as it comes out, so I can just immediately go to the next season. Cause I think the last season came out in like 2016. If I'm I'm not mistaking. I got new drawer organizers and I feel like these look so much nicer. And I also got a new um, makeup organizer up there. And it looks so nice. Honestly, this was really random, but that's basically it. Bye, guys. Mwah. Get ready with me in Korea. Starting my morning off with a hydration sheet mask. I have actually... Ow. This went in my eye. I've actually been here for three days already, but I've been so jet lagged I couldn't function. And look how cute my pajamas are. They monogrammed my name. Today we're gonna be doing Korean head spa. Look at this moisture. This is a gua sha with red light. My skin has been so dry after the airplane. And then we're gonna get Korean manis. I haven't decided what nail design I wanna get. Koreans love the bling. They're like super extra with their nail designs. I usually keep my nails pretty simple, so I don't know if I should do it while I'm here just because I'm in Korea. These dark circles from flying and jet lag are so 
dark. Okay, about the viral head spa, it's gonna be an hour and a half of just hair treatment and scalp massage. I'm so excited. My mom and I have been waking up so early and also sleeping so early. By 6 p.m., we're like, can't function. Today was a little better because I finally woke up at 6 a.m. instead of like 4 or 5. I've also noticed the food here is very healthy. Lots of warm food, cooked vegetables, spicy food. I feel like they don't eat chicken too much. Lots of beef though. I'm so excited for the day. I did a very basic makeup because we're gonna get our head spa so I feel like it's gonna ruin my makeup so I'll have to refresh it later. Every time I wake up, I'm genuinely upset that I'm waking up. Like what do you mean I'm still alive to wake up? I don't mean it in that sense, but this little six to eight hours a night literally is not cutting it, you guys. I need to hibernate, okay? That's the only solution. I don't think I've gotten enough sleep since summer. I am tired. I'm worn out. The school year needs to end ASAP. I can't do it ed anymore. I'm just... <sighs> I'm not trying to off myself like I'm making it sound. I'm just trying to get good sleep. Being well-rested as a teenager is a literal... That's a luxury, okay? That doesn't happen. Like, the second you enter middle school, even, you're just never going to be well-rested again. Okay, cut that deep. Cut that dream off. Cut it. Anyways, happy Tuesday. There is a lot going on today that I'm really excited for. It's my school's art show, and I took AP art this year, so my art portfolio is in the art show. Um, That's after school at, like, 5, so I'm going to go to that. I think I will be going alone. I don't think my family is going to come, which kind of sucks. Okay, I was sitting on my foot, but now my foot hurts, so we're down here. Hi, how are ya? Anyways, it kind of sucks because it's not like it's not like your average art show like all these other years. Like it's my AP portfolio art show, but I don't know. I've like brought it up a few times. My mom's out of town. I've brought it up to like my dad and brother a few times, but I just don't think they give a fuck. So I'm gonna go to that by myself. Okay, I just checked the time, guys. <laughs> we have to rush. Anyways, after the art show, I have my cousin's graduation party, which is going to be really fun. I love any and all family events because my family is like the funniest people in the world guys the upcoming like months or no the upcoming two months is going to be literally so fun i have prom this month i have the senior trip i have so many graduation parties i have my own graduation party in june and then my birthday in june and then my graduation in june and then senior week so it's gonna be good it's gonna be good i'm so excited Happy exam week to everyone. I'm not taking any exams because I decided to protect my peace. I think stat is today and then AP lit is tomorrow, which if I was smart, I'd be taking the lit exam because I feel like out of all the APs, English AP is like the easiest, at least for me. I fuck heavily with English and I fuck heavily with writing, um, but I'm an idiot and I'm not taking it. I also kind of wish I took like AP stat or at least honor stat instead of advanced because i'm like actually kind of good at it i also have to pay off a ticket that i got when i was in philly because apparently my inspection is ex expired guys i didn't even know you had to renew your inspection by the way buy this mascara from delico link in my bio i'm gonna pass wawa and duncan on my way to school and the big question is do i want to pull monies from my savings account to get myself some coffee which actually kind of yes i do um <laughs> yes i do but do i really highlighter Lit. Also, my IMG package is coming today, which I'm actually geeked about, like I swear. My next haul is gonna be so fucking fire, so stay tuned. TTYL. Get ready with me. I'm gonna go to a wedding, and yeah. But I'm happy because I got to stay home from school. Because like, school wouldn't be out in time, and I'm not even like feeling that good, so but it's like a casual wedding it's not like an actual like it's not like they're actually like, they're not like actually getting i think they're getting married but like the actual like party wedding if that makes any sense is like a different time but yeah i just curled my hair and i did a, t a tutorial but i did it on the wrong account so i can't really post it but i'll do one soon guys i kind of want to get like low lights Cause like, I don't know, I woke up at 3am this morning and I was just like thinking about random stuff. Cause I've been like feeling like really, really ugly recently. I already did my lashes and that didn't really make me feel any pretty. So, any prettier. But I was also, I was thinking about random stuff. I was looking at how to grow your hair and it said like, got like vitamins. And I was looking at vitamins to buy at the store. And I know dang well I'm not gonna be able to get those from the store it was just like me at 3 a.m being bored 
then I was thinking about getting extensions because my hair is like so short for my liking. And I just like see like, I don't know, I don't know why it's like a trying to get like a bob cut now. But I'm not doing that and I want long hair again. Why in the world do I always forget concealer whenever I do my Elf Halo bow? It's literally whenever I do my Elf Halo bow. And also guys, I never really do this much makeup, I'm just doing it because it's like a wedding. But let me know in the comments because I think I'm just going to get low lights and then for, for my birthday in like six months, <laughs> seven, um, I'm going to get extensions because I need longer hair. Like I cannot, I mean I probably won't end up getting extensions, I'm just like saying that to myself, but I'm going to like get some hair vitamins probably. The kid has the next one glasses got me sick, so. Yeah. Why is everyone getting bobs? Back to that. Why is everyone getting bobs? Because Brooke Monk got a bob, so everyone's getting a bob. And, like, I don't even know. People are just, like, doing, like, this sound. Or, like, most people are just, like, faking it. Like, putting their hair, like, up over their shoulders like this. And that, I saw, like, a girl, and she looks just like Brooke Monk. And her bob looks so good. Like, I mean, she didn't do it. She just, like, put it over her shoulders. But it looks so good. But other people, I was like, why did you do that to yourself? Recently, I've been, like, breaking a lot of my streaks. I think I have, like, two streaks left. And it's with, like, my really close friends. Not, like, two. But, like, I have, like, nine or, like, ten streaks. Probably a little bit more. But, like, just, like, with the people that I actually spend every day. Because I just, like, randomly just out of nowhere gave up on streaks. Which I wish I kind of didn't. But, like, I did. <laughs> So I have like two left, but people need to literally stop over streaks. Like I really don't care about streaks. I'm like literally just done. I broke a streak with someone and they they hadn't added me and I was like, bye. My makeup is literally so glowy, but we have to set it. This is a casual um like wedding like prep. I don't know. It's just like a thing before you get like the actual wedding. I'm just gonna wear a dress that I wore to one of my like school dances. I didn't actually go to the school dance. Now I'm gonna brush my curls up. Since it's um casual, it's just like a little bit of a wave. Okay, here's the finished like hair and makeup. I need to get my eyebrows done soon, but yeah. I'll show you guys the dress. Okay. Here's the finished product. Oh my god, I almost fell, but hi guys. This group of girls at my school is literally trying to jump me all over TikTok. So get ready for school. I give you guys a story time on why this group of girls wants to jump me over a tiktok okay so it literally all started yesterday this girl was talking about me but the thing is i don't even know like who the girl is and my friend overheard it so she had told me that this girl was talking about me or whatever but she follows me on instagram so i'm like okay if i end up getting jumped i know people who will jump in for me because literally that's what real friends would do this thing to really mean stuff like about my account because people at school are starting to find my account again. This is one Instagram reel that I had posted, like when POV, like when they're talking about you and you don't even know their name. I just posted it because I thought it was funny because like, why is my name in your mouth? You don't even know me. And I feel like people forget that I'm a real person. It, like, I'm not an influencer, but I'm a TikToker. That's what I would say. But I feel like like people forget that influencers are real people and TikTokers or whatever. But um, yeah, so we have um health class together. So she comes up to me in health class like, not even acting the way she acts like you know when like girls will get around their friend groups and be all big and bad but when they're by themselves they're quiet she came up to me and she was like post about me i was like what she was like that instagram real or whatever and i was like no it's like it wasn't directed it's just like in general because like why are you talking about me if you don't know me or whatever she was like oh okay but if you have an issue just let me know about it i just said okay like I don't know how to respond to that. One of her friends were going through my TikTok repost. Why are you stalking my TikTok repost? And she's seen this one repost and she was like, she's not talking about me, she's talking to me. They're basically making their own drama. This today, like at the end of the day, she comes up with me, like she comes up to me towards her friends and she was like, oh, someone told us you said this, someone told us you said that, blah, 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 blah. I never said that. I hate when people will like lie and like interpret the things I say. Because, like, it wasn't even for them. It was just a general statement. But I think it was the girl, which probably that girl is definitely not my friend. But I talked to her. I think she told them that I was saying stuff about them. Because I was, like, whenever she told me someone was talking about me and she told me who. Yeah, she comes up to me with her friends. And her mood is completely different from when I've seen her today. Like, the girl I've seen today, 
not today my bad yesterday but today they're trying to fight me so but the girl i seen yesterday she was not like that at all but she was like oh you keep making posts about us i don't know if they all want to fight me or just the one girl because people are so weird like and stuff like that and they're posting all this stuff talking about tagging me on snapchat stories saying this and saying this anyway so now i'm gonna go to school today so let me know if y'all want an update and today's a half a day so i'm not gonna be at school for that long i'm gonna be at school for like maybe four or five hours anywho i hope you guys have a great day and remember that god loves you bye guys